Hello, how are you doing? Shall we give Johnny a ring, see how he's doing? Oh, hi Debbie. Sorry, sorry, I, I was just chatting to my new friend Steve. Steve's a woodlouse. He's in here. <laughs> hi Steve, how are you doing today? Yeah, did you know, Debbie, that uh, although woodlice, you know, they look a bit like millipedes and things, they're actually technically crustaceans, which makes them like crabs, like brown garden crabs, like tiny, teeny, slightly creepy brown garden crabs, I suppose. Huh. But they are quite tough, you know, they live for two to three years, so that they're, they're pretty strong little creatures. Mm. Ain't you, Steve? <laughs> oh, oh, and uh, they're also quite smelly because they like release this thing. So if you keep them in a box a bit like this, you can smell them. <laughs> oh, oh, Steve, you need a bath. Yeah, I know I need one too. Anyway, but it's all right because down south they know how to call them. They call them chiggy pigs because they smell so bad. I mean, I wouldn't do that to Steve, but that's what they call them down in Devon. Did you know that, Debbie? Johnny. Hmm. I'm starting to worry about you. Have you just been talking to a woodlouse since I last talked to you? And also the chicken onesie. Is that all you've been wearing? Do you know you're very important to me Johnny and very important to God so you do need to look after yourself. I'll tell you who else I'm a bit worried about. Rick the grape. He's just up here. Let me show you what he looks like now. not good is it? Do you know there's something called the five ways to well-being and there's nobody better to tell you about it than Ruth. She's just here on this screen. I'm Debbie Green's sister Ruth and I am the director of a charity called Renew Wellbeing so I help um, people who are not feeling great in their heads and where something isn't going right here who are feeling lonely and anxious and isolated to have people they can go and hang out with and do some hobbies with in what we call Renew Cafes. Of course, all our cafes have had to shut, but we're still helping people to find ways to help with their well-being. Um, and that's about uh, doing things that are like ni nice hobbies and stuff, but it's also about prayer and about connecting with God and about holding a cup and knowing that he holds you. Um, and so we use the five ways to well-being, which are connect, like this, and then learn, like this, and get active, something like this, that's not punchy, and then take notice with your eyes looking around and give. So connect, learn, get active, take notice and give. I wonder if with your five ways to well-being you can help um, others and help yourself to stay well in your mind as well as in your body. Yes, that's my sister. See the family resemblance. Anyway, Johnny, over to you. Five ways to well-being, what do you think? Okay, so if I was to use the five ways to well-being, then I suppose that I could give I, I could give some soup or some pasta to the Olive Branch, which is the food bank in Lancaster. And then I could be active. Well, I mean, that's my daily walk, isn't it? My daily exercise, a run or something. So that's done. I can keep learning. Well, I'm learning lots of new interesting things from the Bible at the moment because I'm getting loads of chance to read it. And, well, I can take notice by, well, when I'm on my daily walk, I can look at all the things around me, all the amazing things that God's made, like woodlice. <laughs> and then, well, I could connect by giving my friends a call or messaging them, asking if they're doing OK or seeing if they need me to pray about anything. And, well, I guess failing that, I could always, you know, chat to my friend Steve. Good ideas, Johnny. Except maybe connecting with people and, and even better connecting with God is even better than connecting with woodlice. Although actually, this very week, a little tiny friend of mine discovered woodlice for the very first time and he agrees with you that they are quite amazing. Here's a couple of photos. The Bible says that we are really much more important than creepy crawlies. Psalm 139 says, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. 
And later on it says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. These five ways to well-being as a Christian, I think it is really important to connect with God. And also to learn about God and lots of other stuff. He gave us these wonderful brains. We should try to keep active because these are the bodies that he's given us. We really need to take notice because there's so much in creation that is incredible, including wood lice. And we should give. And that's very important in these times where people are finding things a struggle. So there are worksheets again. If you're able to connect with those, you can use those, the usual. There's a colouring in. There's also a search for Steve amongst all of his little cousins. And there's also five ways to well-being, where particularly we're thinking about prayer and connecting with God. If you can use those, that would be great. Now, if I was with you in your school, we would say a prayer by doing our P-R-A-Y. You're not there. So instead, I shall use my little prayer bear called Ramsey. Let's all do this together. Ready? P. R. Fold our arms. Bow our heads. A. Father God. Thank you that when you made people, you made us to connect with you. Lord, thank you for wood lice and for all those other detailed little things in creation. But help us to know that we are loved and important to you. We mustn't curl up in a ball or crawl into dark spaces like a wood louse. We need to run and learn and marvel and give and connect, especially with you. Thank you, God, that you know what is best for us and can be trusted. Help us to take time with you this week and be honest about how we are feeling when we're feeling happy and when we're feeling lousy. Amen. Why? See you soon. <laughs>